A 5K is a family friendly distance because you can either walk them or you can run them. And today I'm going to run one while wearing Yeezy Pods. So if you don't know what these are, then let me explain. Yeezy Pods are shoes that look like socks or socks that are actually shoes. Brought to you by your boy Kanye West or Ye or whatever you want to call them. They came with a price tag of $200 at first. During the Super Bowl or around that time period, he dropped the price of all of his merch to $20. So naturally, I bought two pairs. One to run in and one to wear casually, if I like them. Before you order them, the website says that it'll take four weeks to ship, but I actually got mine two months after ordering. As of this upload, the site now says that Yeezy is no longer accepting online purchases. Not sure why, maybe they're trying to catch up, I don't know. And as far as comfort goes, I think that they're really comfortable. It's almost like wearing a thick sock that has padding on your heel and the ball of your foot. Other than that, there really isn't support anywhere else. One thing that I'll point out is that they're listed as the color black, but when I actually started wearing them, my friends also pointed out that they look more brown, like a dark, dark brown. Either way, leading up to the race, I did wear them in different scenarios just to get used to them. I'm running and my last name is Moore. Morelli? Morelli, there we go. I say a lot because this was me like 10 minutes ago. All right, Riley, you're here to have fun. Most of the people you see here, you're not ever going to see again, except for the few people that you know are running this. People are going to look at you and you're, you know it. And the worst thing that they can say is... So it took me less than 30 seconds to see someone I knew, but the significance of this race was that around the city of Raleigh, they are working on completing an outer loop, which is 540. And recently they completed a section of that. So naturally humans were like, let's host a running event. It's an out and back race. And also there's a 10K bike race going on, but that's going in the opposite direction. So to get there, we had to park and ride a shuttle bus down to the starting line where I eventually ran into more people that I knew. Hey, hey. how are you doing? Good, how are you? As I was approaching the starting line and moving up to the front because I wanted to be like, I am speed. My lack of confidence started disappearing, but I did do one last shoe check and caught this dude peeping at my kicks. One mile in, the heels are starting to hurt a little bit. I don't know how long these shoes will last. I'll tell you what, my feet are on fire. In other words, those thick socks had no type of ventilation. Two miles in, heels are hurting, feet are on fire. I don't know how people like Isaiah do it in Crocs, a marathon at that. At least he's got some ventilation. So I'm referring to this dude in this video. Maybe one day I'll torture myself and try a marathon under unique circumstances, but today is not that day. What's crazy is that I finally saw someone else that was doing things a little different. This dude right here had on some certified sandals. They honestly look like those Luna sandals. And I was trying to catch up to him. And of course, when I got close, he sped up out of nowhere. Really, I just wanted to kind of motivate or compliment him. My man, unconventional shoes is right here. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but in almost all of the running clips, there has been the same person in my general area. And one thing I like about running is that sometimes you find that person whose pace you like, so you try to run with them. Mind you, she was a complete stranger, had no idea who she was, but the cool thing is, is that we were pushing each other to finish strong because my feet and my heels specifically were killing me. So let me first say shout out to Peyton for being my unofficial running partner. Shout out to her husband for getting these pictures that I happen to be in because he was totally getting pictures of her. <laughs> anyway, here are my stats. Good job. Those are cool shoes. It feels like I'm running. Yeah, it feels like I'm running barefoot. Yeah. My feet are on fire, like temperature. Aim wise, it's not that bad. I would maybe do this in a 10K. And by maybe, I meant that I probably could do a 10K, maybe a half, or maybe even a marathon one day. Because even with the heat and the fresh asphalt, the shoes didn't really take that much damage. All right, it's time to go celebrate. Nah, I'm just kidding. They weren't even open yet. Yeah. Sunday morning fuels quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kinda how I feel with you. 